We know it's Christmas in Hope Valley when there's snow everywhere. You know it's Christmas in Hope Valley when the love is in the air. The saloon smells like a, a giant Christmas tree. Like a Christmas tornado just shot right through uh, Hope Valley. Beautiful garland and ornaments and sparkly things, which is really very helpful because sometimes we have to distract the babies who play Baby Jack. That, that catches their attention in a way that is helpful to us. The unique and special thing about this Christmas episode is that it's now and forever changed as a Christmas episode and Baby Jack's birthday. It's this idea of really trying to honor old customs and traditions, but also forge new customs and traditions. We are going to look around the rest of the festival because we have some shopping to do. All right, just don't go overboard. We absolutely will go overboard. Oh, Elizabeth said one gift only. We agreed on that. Lee, Elizabeth. Uh, uh, uh. It's been really fun to get to see what it's like watching little Jack grow up and have his first birthday. This is Nathan's very first Christmas in, uh, in Hope Valley. It's also the very first Christmas for Allie in Hope Valley, and it's a place where she's kind of found friends and family. Uh, and yeah, it's a special time for both of them. Then we've got Lucas, who used to travel with his family a lot. They'd spend holidays overseas, and so he really saw a lot of interesting traditions around the world, and he's decided to bring some of those traditions to Hope Valley. He's created this amazing festival in town. It's a, a German Christmas festival, and then so many people come, and word of mouth kind of gets around to bordering neighboring towns, and so the town is kind of overrun with, um, with guests. And so I think it's a turning point for him where he feels like, you know, I, I really am um, accepted here, and, and um, it's a, a nice, unexpected thing for, it, for Lucas. Hope Valley is putting on a spread for you, the likes of which you have never seen. Well, what's great about this Christmas movie is that, you know, our two new male leads that came into the, the show last year really have great story arcs this year. And I think it represents Mountie Nathan and also saloon owner Lucas in a really great way. And, you know, how to see our lead actress respond to that with this sort of triangle that we now have with these love interests. There's a pull on either side, and I don't think she's making a decision anytime soon. <laughs> Look, Elizabeth has had it kind of rough, and she deserves this attention. Let's let Elizabeth enjoy this. Did you, did you see my mom yet? She's been an extra on a couple movies I did, but she's never done When Calls a Heart, and she loves this show, like loves this show. Do you like being on set? I do. Yeah? Yeah. What do you like the most? Being with you, number one. Yeah? Yeah. The scene we're shooting now is where Lucas is hanging, uh, Chris McNally is hanging um, mistletoe. And my mom's gonna be somewhere in the background. Hey, keep your eyes out for mom. This is a town that comes together. This is a community that people have come to believe in. I think people like to look at Hope Valley and When Calls the Heart as, as something that they aspire to. So I think that um, in this Christmas episode, they're gonna find a lot of that. It feels really special that the One Calls the Heart Christmas episode airs on Christmas night every year, and that's been a really nice tradition that we've been able to carry on. I think people really look forward to enjoying their festivities on Christmas Day and then all gathering as a family that night to watch One Calls the Heart. It's been really special. When Calls the Heart, home for Christmas, only on Hallmark Channel.